everyone, so glad to have you back in our zoo, which is still nameless for now, but not for long. Hang tight because Dr. Wilder, our dedicated director, is tucked away in his office, determined to finally come to a decision. And we'll be sharing that with you a bit later. But while Dr. Wilder is playing the name game, he's entrusts us with a special task, building the very first habitat of our zoo. So let's dive in and make it happen. Dr. Wilder has chosen the red panda as the first animal for our zoo. So that's the habitat that we'll be building today. But before we delve into the construction details, let me share a bit about why Dr. Wilder chose this particular animal. Our esteemed director has always been fascinated by the wonders of the natural world. Growing up in a small town nestled among lush forests and rolling hills, Dr. Wilder developed a deep appreciation for wildlife from a young age. His childhood days were spent exploring the vast wilderness surrounding his home, where he encountered a myriad of creatures that sparked his curiosity and passion for conservation. As he grew older, Dr. Wilder pursued his dream of becoming a zoologist, dedicating his life to the study and preservation of endangered species. His journey led him to various corners of the globe where he worked tirelessly to protect and promote the welfare of animals and their natural habitats. It was during one of his expeditions to the remote mountains of the Himalayas that Dr. Wilder first encountered the enchanting red pandas. These elusive and charming creatures captured his heart with their playful antics and gentle nature. Dr. Wilder was mesmerized by the unique beauty and endearing personalities of the red pandas, and he made it his mission to raise awareness about their conservation needs. Because of Dr. Wilder's personal connection with the red pandas, he knew that he wanted them to be the first animal in our zoo. He also personally collaborated on the plans and specifications for the unique habitat to ensure they would have the enclosure that met their needs. Of course, this was no easy task. I needed to make sure there was plenty of space for the red pandas to run, climb, so the enclosure had to be tall as well as wide. And of course, you all know my track record of having animals escape their habitats, so I double checked that there weren't any areas for them to slip through. The one thing Dr. Wilder really emphasized was their need for privacy. Red pandas are shy by nature, so I made sure to use one-way glass and even place down signs asking guests to be quiet for the comfort of the animals. Finally, I added plenty of enrichment items to make sure the red pandas are as happy as they can be in their new environment. So for now, I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of the build, and when it's done, we'll take a tour of the finished habitat.
now it's time for a quick tour. Based off some of your comments and feedback, I have actually changed up a few things in the greenhouse as well. You can see that we now have purple lighting and I've really changed up the lighting. Also, all of the tables have been lowered to where it would be a more accessible. However, it still looks a little uh, looks a little low in this view for some reason. Still haven't really figured that out. But as we exit the greenhouse and it is nighttime, let's go ahead and run back today. There we go. You can see that we have all of our bench seating and all of that out here for our guests to be able to relax and come around. And then we have these signs. I did not make these signs. I definitely want to give a lot of love to whoever it was that created these. They're absolutely beautiful. I love them. They did an excellent job. So yeah, they are two-sided, so you don't have to have them against the wall. And then I did change up the color of our donation bins, just going with something a bit nicer. And then we have some seating out through this way. Of course, more education boards. We have an animal talk point because eventually we are going to have education tours in our zoo and pretty much the same all the way around just wanting to make sure that we get a lot of education for our guests in our zoo and then of course you know typical trees clipping through and things like that let's go ahead and go in where our keepers would enter we go and now we are inside with our red pandas oh look at him oh, look at her she is drinking some water they are so cute they're absolutely fantastic. As you can see, it does have one-way glass all the way around the interior, with the exception of up there, but that's to make sure that we get plenty of light in here so that uh, maybe they will not be too, too nervous with all the guests. They are kind of very much in the center of everything, but Dr. Wilder really wanted them to be up front and in the center, and hello, who are you? You're a baby. They had a baby. Oh my goodness. They have not been in here that long and they have already produced a one-year-old too. Look at him. Wow. Okay. And they seem very happy and they do have plenty of climbing space in here. And they have some beds that they can get up to. They have a different height of feeders, lots of toys, lots of, uh, here's another bedding spot for them. Then they have their forage box over here. There's one walking across the beam right now. Oh, I just love how they do that. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you foraging? Oh, why are you sleeping on the ground, little buddy? You you have a bed? You sleep on the ground. Okay. I may need to look at maybe doing something different with their sleeping quarters because I don't want them to sleep on the ground. I want them to feel comfortable, but I don't want them to sleep on the ground if they don't want to. But yeah, as you saw in the speed build, I built the stairs so that not only can they walk up the stairs or climb up the stairs, but also the keeper should be able to walk up the stairs as well. Let's go ahead and request our keeper. Okay, and I just realized there wasn't any audio for the game. I turned it down earlier because it was very, very loud for me. So now I've turned it back up. So now there will be some audio for, for our red pandas. And he just walked under that one. That's really cool. I really do love the red pandas. I wanted to try and do something that would be, you know, really unique as far as a, uh, as far as a habitat is concerned for them. Just, I didn't want to do the same old, same old, just a fenced in area. I don't know that I'm crazy about the concrete floors. I may eventually just go ahead and remove the concrete floors and just have regular, the regular ground underneath. This does feel a bit too sterile, if that's the right word, but our keeper should be on the way here in just a moment to take care of that. Looks like that's uh, not doing too well. Oh, now he is awake. But if you look, they are very happy. It says they do not have enough climbable uh, climbing space. I think it's because they had the baby and it lowered it. You can see it's just on the cusp of that. But as far as train, they are happy with that. And for the most part, they're happy with their with their plants for the most part okay there's our keeper now and you see the keeper was able to just walk right right up and down the stairs of course it was a little weird <laughs> and uh gan is playing with our rubber duck i love that but yeah i think i may end up coming back in here and removing the concrete it just feels a bit too sterile let's go ahead and back out and take a nice view from up here and something else i may need to do is if we switch back to nighttime, there are currently currently no lights in here, which I feel like is almost OK, but you would want the guests to still be able to have a good view in even at dark, which I guess they do. Yeah, I guess they still have a good view in because I don't want the uh, 
I don't want to put in a lot of lighting into their habitat or anything like that. I don't want to stress them out. They're easily stressed as it is, and I definitely do not want to stress them out anymore. Oh, koi are about to have some offspring. So we can go over and take a look at the koi. We haven't been over there for quite some time before we do. You can see I did extend the path from over here, allowing a little path for our caretakers to come over this way. So the caretakers that are currently taking care of the uh, koi are also in charge of our red pandas for now. That may change in the future. So I ended up putting up a different barrier through here because the koi were just absolutely insane and would not stay in their habitat. I do not want to turn off uh, animal escaping. I want to leave that on. So at the end of all this, if you want to be able to download this zoo, you definitely can. And we'll be able to play it. Of course, you'd have to play with... Uh, if if you don't have the mod for the koi, you'd have to get that. Otherwise, there's just going to be a lake here. As of now, the koi are nice and happy and hungry. Don't know why they're hungry. For now, everything is doing pretty good in the zoo for now. And I'm really excited about uh, the next build for this as well. Uh, really going to try and do something a bit more unique again. So definitely let me know. Okay, here they are. They're coming to feed the koi now. Let me know if you are enjoying this and I will definitely continue to try and do more unique builds. Maybe not something so crazy as this, but I definitely do want to try something very unique coming up for the next build and our zoo. I want to say thank you very much to all the people who have hung out and who have subscribed to the channel. I cannot believe that we are we're very close to 500. As of now, it is absolutely amazing to me. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. I know that this video is going to be a bit shorter than some of the rest that I've put out. I am definitely trying some new things. I've told you guys several times that I am always looking to improve or change or do things a little bit differently. If you're enjoying the new shorter content, let me know in the comment section. If you'd like the videos to be a bit longer, definitely let me know that as well. Um, but with that being said, I think it is time to go ahead and check in with Dr. Wilder to see what's up with him. As we wrap up today's video, I am thrilled to report that Dr. Wilder is absolutely delighted with the Red Panda enclosure. His dedication to ensuring their comfort and well-being truly shines through, reflecting his passion for their conservation. It's inspiring to know that our zoo is not only a place for entertainment, but a vital hub for conservation efforts particularly for these beloved red pandas that hold such a special place in Dr. Wilder's heart. And now for the moment you have all been waiting for, drum roll please. After much contemplation, Dr. Wilder has finally reached a decision regarding the name of our zoo. From this day forward, our sanctuary will be known as EcoQuest Animal Reserve, a fitting title that reflects the care and attention we put into preserving not only endangered species, but our natural resources as well. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you'd like this video, you should check out the first episode of our career mode series here. But as always, I will see you in the next one.